Hi everyone. In this series of videos, we're looking at how to use the Avada Builder elements. Today, we're looking at how to use the Instagram element. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Okay, let's begin. Instagram is one of the most popular social media platforms, and the Instagram element allows you to place a feed directly on your Avada website. Let's have a look at how this works. I've imported the photography pre-built site here, and I'm going to imagine this photographer wants to add his Instagram feed on the home page. The first thing to do is to connect the account. This is not done in the element itself, but in the element global options. So I'll head to the global options, and Avada Builder Elements, and Instagram. Here I can connect the account. I'll just click the connect with Instagram button, and go through the process of connecting my account. The connection takes place, and we are returned to the site. Before I add the element, there is also a global option here to determine how often the element should check for new posts. Every hour seems a bit hardcore for all but big influencers, so I might change this to every six hours. But of course, set this to what suits your feed. Okay, let's save these options, and head to our page. I'll just scroll down, and under the gallery thumbs here, I've added a new container and a title and I'll add the Instagram element under that. Our feed is loaded with the default settings, and now we can customize it. The general tab is the place to start. With the first option, number of posts, you can, can control how many images show on the page. This can be up to 100. I'm going to set this to 12. Layout is the next option, and here you can choose from grid or masonry. In this case, I'll leave it on grid. Images aspect ratio is next and there are a lot of choices here, including automatic and custom. If you choose custom, another option called custom aspect ratio appears. This is the width to the height, so if you set it to 50 for example, you'd get a 100 as to 50 ratio, or in other words 2 as to 1. For my example though, I'm going to set it to 1 as to 1, as most of the images on my Instagram account are square and this will ensure that if one isn't, it will also display a square. Image focus point is the next option, and this can be useful for moving the images around if you have chosen an aspect ratio which crops the images. Hover type is next, and these are the same as the image element options. I'm just going to leave this on none. Image link comes next, and here you can choose whether the image is linked to a light box or the Instagram post, or have no link. Here I'm going to choose light box. Then there's an option called Load More. Like a blog post, you can have infinite scrolling or a Load More button. I'll go with the Load More button. You can also set custom text for the Load More button in the next option, but Load More is fine by me. The Follow button is the next option, and this of course displays a Follow button for your Instagram account. And you can also set custom text on this if you wish as well. Under this are the usual Element Visibility and CSS Class and CSS ID options. So now let's head to the Design tab. Here you can really customise how your feed displays. The first option is Margin, and this is for the element as a whole. For me, this looks good as is. Number of columns is next, and here I'm happy with four columns. Column spacing is set to 10, but I might increase this to 20. With the next three options, you can control the border of the image. You can set a size, a colour, and if you wish, a border radius. I'm going to leave mine without a border, but I might add a border radius of 10 pixels. There is a button span option if you have selected the load more or follow buttons, and there is also a buttons alignment option. I think I will set span to yes. Then we finally come to a button styling area. Here we can set the colours for both the normal and hover states of various items. There is the text and background colour for both the load more button and the follow button, in this case, I'm totally happy with the defaults, but you can set whatever colours you want here. Finally, on the Extras tab, there are animation options for the element as a whole, and these can be set as you prefer. For more information on animation options for elements, see the video linked below in the description. OK, there's our photographer's Instagram feed. As new images are added to his Instagram account, these will be added to the feed here, and users can interact with them as we have allowed. Ok, this concludes our video on how to use the Instagram element. Thanks for watching, and let us know in the comments how you like this element. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. 
and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.